All right, so this question number 11 gives us um, two equations, one for beef and the other for chicken, and tells us the equation for the price per pound of beef is 2.35 plus um, 0.25x. So this represents the equation that represents the beef price per pound, and the other one is the equation for chicken, which is 1.75 plus 0.40x. So this represents the um, the uh, equation for chicken. Well, it says something very unique in the question. It says, what was the price per pound of beef? Meaning, we want to figure out the result of this beef side. So this is the goal, to figure out what this number will be. Well, obviously, we can't do that. We don't know this x, right? But it says, what is the price of pound of beef when the when it is equal, when the beef is equal to the chicken? So it's saying, what is, the, what is this going to be if the b is equal to the c? Well, we just make the two equations equal to each other. So um, save some time. I'm going to copy those two. All right. So essentially, they want us to have the chicken, and they want that to equal the beef, the equations. OK, so I'm going to copy that as well. All right. So essentially, they're saying they want these two guys to equal each other. So mathematically, all you need to do is just put an equal to sign between the two of them. Um, so this equal to this. And at this point, we just bring like terms together. So best way to do this is in, with like terms, I like to move the smaller number. So I know 2.35 and 1.75 should go together, but I will move the 1.75 because it's a smaller one. And for the 0.25x and 0.40, I would obviously move this one as well. Plus, if I've moved this this way, I kind of need to move this the other way anyway. So at this point, we, we pretty much have 2.35 minus 1.75 equal to 0.40x minus 0.25x. Okay, And then I will produce on this right side, it will produce the 0.15x. And on this left side, it will produce 0.6. And obviously, to get the x by itself, I divide by 1.25 on both sides. 1.25 on both sides. So this crosses out. If you use your calculator, no, you can't use a calculator in this section because this is a non-calculator section. So actually, actually, that's actually very interesting at this point because what you want to what you want to be able to do then is just um, just move this, um, you know, one space, one decimal space, uh, maybe two. So I would do one, two, okay. And this would be one, two. So because if you move the number of decimal spaces, you move the decimal out, you pretty much end up with 60 over 15. And if you just do some multiplication, then you know that 15 goes in 64 times. So x is 4. So based on that, um, we can now go find the b, because the question was really about the beef. So I am going to go in here, and I'm going to say b is equal to 2.35 plus 0 0.25 with the 4 there. Well, we should know that 4 times 25 is 100, or in this case, 4, this is like a quarter, 0.25 cents, right? 4 times, uh, 4 quarters is a dollar, right? So, you know, that should be 1. This is 2.35. Okay, so um, 2.35 point, this is 1.00. So, that's going to be 3.35. So, the beef is 3.35. And the answer to that will be D in the uh, textbook. So this is what you want. The fact that they said the beef, you know, they said, you know, when the beef and chicken are equal, are at the same price, you make the two equations equal. It allows you to solve for x as 4, and you plug that 4 right back into the beef one, because that's the one they asked for, not the chicken. And um, you put all of that in and it solves for d. All this talk about beef and chicken makes me hungry. So I think I'll go have lunch now. Take care.